this really is an evolving uh, area. If people don't exercise, if they're obese, they have a much higher incidence of diabetes, they have a higher incidence of hypertension, they have a higher incidence of heart disease. All of these are chronic uh, illnesses that, that we know the chronic illnesses are where a lot of the uh, dollars are spent in healthcare now. Well, we have to pay for, for prevention services or we will continue indefinitely to have increasing health care costs. Yo-yo funding has been a huge problem in all kinds of prevention programs. The money comes in, the money goes out. And the statewide health improvement program was a perfect example of that. The SHIP was, uh, and is still, a program um, primarily looking at, at lifestyle and providing uh, some funding um, mainly on a, on a county basis with, with the d difficult economic times and, and the budget shortfall, Health and Human Services received a lot less than just the projected normal growth due to the population and, and what we've done in the past. Somebody needs to do something about it. And clearly the nonprofit sector without government support doesn't have the resources to do that. Some of the cuts in the, the budgetary decisions are clearly more influenced on how we're just going to get by the next two years. Uh, are we going to underfund these tremendously important things over the long term um, because we really have a budget crunch now and we just want to cut everything? Um, that's going to be de very difficult to pull out of.